What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are back with a brand new horror action figure setup and it is part two of our massive kitchen edition. So what is good everybody welcome back to my damn kitchen as we have part two of our epic Halloween horror action figure setup man got tons of stuff to show off to you very excellent stuff if you guys missed part one of our kitchen setup with all the horror action figures definitely go check it out man but we are back with part number two again if you missed part one man go watch part one and then come back here and meet me for, for part two but let's shut the hell up and start things off at the fridge all right man so we go into this area you will see that we have Annabelle in the corner we have Jason Voorhees who just put Kenny Omega through a table now let's get the replay of how that happened. Oh, look out below, Brad. Kenny Omega coming off the top of the fridge onto Jason Voorhees. Oh, my God in heaven, crooked man from behind. Oh, and now Jason Voorhees has the upper hand as he plants Kenny Omega through the table. You got your meal? <laughs> if you guys missed part number one you know that jason did put kenny through the table we have action sequences in every setup that we do typically and we do have some more here today that i'm excited about so stay tuned to the end we'll get into the action parts of the setup this is the result of part number one now if you guys remember we had cameron grimes cooking in the toaster this time it's just skeletons you just have a skeleton in there because he has been burnt to a crisp by freddy krueger in the toaster so freddy krueger has taken care of business and done so to cameron grimes in the toaster oven. We come forward, we do have Jason Voorhees part two. If you guys remember last time, Gold Dust or Dustin Rhodes was being choked out. This time he is he he is he is unconscious. So you have unconscious Dustin Rhodes and then you have part two standing over him. Over here, this was kind of a twist of events. You have Chucky and Tiffany and you have the fiend who, if you guys remember, was holding Chucky up to the can opener that's back here. But this time Tiffany did get back on her feet and they have taken it to the fiend here and he has been beheaded here. So the fiend has gotten taken out but Chucky and Tiffany respond to the Fiend's actions from part number one. Here in the back, we do have a shot of the MDT Tournament of the Damn Trophy that will be going home with some horror icon this year. The matchups most likely starting tomorrow. We're starting off with our first round matchup. Freddy versus Jason in a kitchen nightmare match should be coming tomorrow. As we move forward to the stove, we do have Big Daddy right here. And if you guys remember last time, Chris Jericho was trying to hide up under this part of the stove, but he did not hide any longer, man. You can't really see the blood because it's kind of blending in with the blackness right there, but there is some blood. There's a lot of blood right there, but you can't even see it, so that's kind of wild, but Chris Jericho did, in fact, meet Big Daddy right there, and it didn't It didn't do well for him. Moving to the right a little bit, part seven, Jason. We have Jason Voorhees standing over Christian as he was fighting for his life there in the pool of water, and then you see how that result came out. So Christian did not make it right there as he was, uh, he was taken care of by Jason. Now, if we move forward just a little bit, you do have these Pennywises, probably wondering why the hell that's happening. It's because if you look up, if you remember correctly, Ultimate Warrior had locked the first Pennywise in there last time, burned him to a crisp. Well, this time he has came back headless, and he brought the new Pennywise with him, so Ultimate Warrior, I think he's going to come down on them at the end of the setup, so we'll have to see if Ultimate Warrior can, and can, can he escape. We'll have to find out together at the end of the setup, but we have Ultimate Warrior about to drop down onto both Pennywises, trying to get that revenge on him from setup number one. Moving to the right just a little bit, we have the 2009 remake, Jason, who was pushing this Mountain Dew can over Seth Rollins like a steamroller and you guys can see the blood has come out it crushed all of the vertebrae of Seth Rollins and he did get smashed and he got blood spewed out everywhere from the result of his actions so Seth Rollins did get taken care of but Jason is making matters worse and pressing it in there but he did get smashed by the Diet Mountain Dew can please sponsor me as you guys know you want to eat your calories not drink them and uh, yeah Diet Mountain Dew right there smashing Seth Rollins this actually turned out better than I thought guys if you guys remember the Reese's Puffs Freddy versus Jason's version of Jason Voorhees did have that Reese's Puff in his hand. Remember, the ball of Reese's Puff was in his hands, and he shoved it right into Jeff Hardy's gullet. And this facial expression is money. Look at that right there. I, I'm trying to get a good focus on it, but the puffs have filled up his mouth there, and it looks like he is a victim of the Reese's Puffs. Very nice shot right there. I don't know how it, it ended up doing that. I tried to get the puff to fit in the mouth, but it kind of crumbled, and then it looked like somebody had just gagged him with sand or something, and I don't know. I like the way... I don't know. It just came out perfectly, in my opinion. So, yeah, Jeff 
I've already got the puffs to the face. Next up, we do have Ghostface right here. He did get a slash in on Lance Archer. Look at the back of Archer slit open right there. He's got the big machete knife. Now, I know he doesn't run around with a machete, but I think it works for the reasons of the setup. He did slice his back, and he's got him right there. And, of course, Archer yelling in agony. So, I think that really brings it home and captures it very well with the yelling and the pain and the suffering. And the, hey, hey, it hurts me. Literally. Now, coming across this way, if you remember, we had a bunch of stuff going on right here. We did have the imperfect cell from DBZ. No cell featured this time. He was sucking up Sammy Guevara into his stinger or his tail. This time, we replaced him with Pennywise the Clown. Now, this is probably my favorite part of the setup, I think. I think it's my favorite part. We do have Pennywise the Clown holding this Ultimate Edition Doink Hammer. And you guys can see the brain matter and the blood on the hammer. And he is loving every second of it as he has just smashed Doink. And you guys have all of this blood and guts going on right here. Obviously, it's not real blood. It's fake blood. And, and the way that I made the brain matter, I mean, this looks legitimately like brain matter. It's kind of insane the way it worked out. But I, I made like a secret concoction. And we have that shot right there. I thought that was a really good shot there. Got another victim over there. But yeah, I thought this was nice. You know, Pennywise is like, there's only room for one dancing clown. Now, I know we have two of them featured, but we have so many Jasons featured that I don't think it's a big issue here in the setup. But this is probably my favorite part of the setup here today. Coming over here in the last setup, we did have two tables set up, and we had Roman Reigns spearing Jason off of the upper part of the countertop to the bottom part of the countertop, and we're going to roll the clip. Oh, boy, he's better look out. Roman Reigns coming in from the top countertop to the bottom of the countertop, off the top of the countertop. Spear through the table. What a shot. As you guys can see there, Jason did get speared by Roman Reigns, putting him through both tables. And now Roman Reigns has even done it. He took down the massive part four that was stepping on that pot that cut this man in half, as you guys can see the blood there. The blood was supposed to be there in the last setup. Wasn't there. Now it is. And Roman Reigns has dethroned this giant Jason, man. Roman Reigns, the big dog, the tribal chief, cannot be stopped. And he beheaded the giant Jason with the knife. And he is uh, claiming in his trophy right there. So he's excited about it. He's got his foot on the skull of Jason. He took out that big one. Maybe Roman Reigns can save the rest of the combatants in this setup. We'll have to see maybe. I don't know if there'll be a part three. If you guys want a part three, let me know. But Roman Reigns takes out the big Jason. And this is one of the action sequences that I'm excited to see. All right, guys, this is editing Trey. I just wanted to listen to the way I say action right here. It just absolutely made me cackle. You gotta see it. Just listen to this. And this is one of the action sequences that I'm excited to see. The actions, the actions, the the actions at 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 action sequences. We do have Michael Myers here coming to take out Roman Reigns since he let me down in the theater this year. He's going to try to redeem himself, take out Roman Reigns, and so Roman Reigns is going to spear Michael Myers off of this giant countertop to the floor through those two tables to end our setup. Now, will it be accurate? Will it hit? We'll have to see, but I am going to commentate that, and hopefully it you know it lives up to the expectations. If we come forward over here, last time Brock had Michael on the ground stabbing him through the sternum with this pole. As you guys can see, it goes all the way through there. But Michael is responding, and Brock cannot believe it. Brock's face says it all. How in the hell is this taking place? So Brock Lesnar is scared for his life. Coming forward right here. Now, this is one of the action sequences I forgot to do in the last one. But Leatherface was on top of this bottle sanitizer, and Samoa Joe pushed him off, and he fell in the chainsaw. Since it was going when he fell, it proceeded to cut into the meat of his shoulder right there. I don't know if he met his demise or not, but Samoa Joe did push him off there, so he, uh, he ate it. Then you have this Hulk Hogan here that always eats it in the setups. He's kind of just laying there. He got impaled by that one big Jason. Coming over here, this is our part seven that had this like tree cutting weed whacker. And Cody Rhodes was trying to defend himself with the ladder. But this time the ladder has been cut in half as you guys can see. So Jason is making his way over to Cody Rhodes. The next step is not going to be good for him. So maybe he can find some more defense. Get the hell away from him. I'm not sure. But J part seven Jason is coming for Cody right there. In the back we have Hellraiser. And he has put Santana in order. 
tease in this cooker right here, which is actually a bottle warmer. Gets very, very hot for the love of God. For the love of God, it will burn the hell out of you. So that's what's happening right there. And it's even got the chain wrapped around it to lock it in place. Isn't that very creative of the chain master such as Pinhead? Coming forward just a little bit, we have Pennywise who had Braun Strowman locked down into the garbage disposal. And it does not look like it panned out well for him as the bloody mess and matter is everywhere. And you're probably wondering where the hell is Ric Flair because we had a part six Jason right here that pushed Ric Flair into a tub of water right here. Well, I have to show you what happened to Ric Flair. <laughs> He's been frozen solid. Yeah, that's him right there. He is frozen solid. Jason put him in the freezer, and now he's frozen. Yep. So yeah, that's pretty much what took place with Ric Flair. Coming over here to the setup, we have the Nun and Part 5 Jason who snapped Kurt Angle's neck. Yeah, we're tying it into Red Life with a broken freaking neck. Well, they did that, didn't they? So he's a bloody soaked mess as uh, beforehand they were just preparing to do so and now they have done so. So he's done so. Yeah, he, he didn't make it. Coming forward a little bit to the last part of the setup, we do have Wardlow and Matt Hardy who have taken down this Part 7 Jason that actually crushed the Part 6 Jason because he's so gigantic. He fell over after Wardlow was pinned against the wall, they knocked him over and he crushed part six Jason. So that's kind of what we got going on right there. After he put Ric Flair in the freezer, he was coming back. He got smashed. And uh, yeah, Wardlow now has the upper hand right here. Can't mess with Wardlow. But that pretty much wraps up our massive kitchen setup, man. Had a lot of fun with part two of the setup. Again, if you missed part one, definitely go check part one out. Gives a lot, brings a lot of sense to part number two. But we are going to get into our action sequences before we get out of here. And the first thing we're going to do is Ultimate Warrior coming down onto the Pennywises. That sounds like a like a last name, right? It's like, honey, did you send that package over to the Pennywises? OG Pennywise and remake Pennywise are trying to come after Ultimate Warrior, Ultimate Warrior coming down off the microwave. Damn, did nothing. He no-sold it and plummeted to his demise. Let's run it back. Oh, Ultimate Warrior coming down on Pennywise. Ah, uh, a little better, not perfect. Oh. All right, man, here's the money shot. Now we are down to Roman Reigns on Michael Myers, spearing him off the countertop through the tables below. Oh, Michael Myers going after Roman Reigns after Roman Reigns takes out part four Jason. Roman Reigns took out that giant Jason, and now Michael Myers is coming after him with that knife, but Roman Reigns looks like he's about to spear him off the countertop. <laughs> Jason, and now Michael Myers has turned the knife on him, Brian, he's coming after him, and look, Roman Reigns is going after Michael Myers! Oh, he speared him! Michael Myers got speared by Roman Reigns! Alright, I don't know how good that last take was, I'm gonna do two different takes, and hopefully one of them turned out. He went through the table both times, at least I think so, Roman may have went through the table, I don't know, but look, like he cut tackled him one time, and the other time he missed him, maybe, and grazed him, I, I don't effing know. Anyways, that is gonna wrap up the massive horror setup, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your favorite portion of the setup down in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and happy Halloween.